with Bam Bam. How do you see this fight, and, and how would you assess where Bam Bam is right now? Look, it, it's a hell of a fight. You know, Danny Garcia, we've known him. Um, I go back with Danny since the amateurs, you know, with Mikey, my brother Mikey and everything. So, you know, we, we've seen most of his career and we've seen the success that he's had and uh, he's very good at what he does. But uh, Brandon, you know, he doesn't want to come back with, with uh, tune-up fights after one after the other. He wants to fight the best. And uh, this opportunity came and, uh, you know, that's why we're here. You know, Brandon, Brandon didn't even hesitate to take this fight. He's training really hard, you know, Donald Leary right here next to me is doing a great job with him in Oxnard. And uh, when they come to my gym in, in Riverside, he's getting the best sparring that, that he could get, you know. Uh, that's one thing that's very important and uh, and he's uh, he's doing it. He's doing everything he has to do. He's, uh, as you guys could see, I'm pretty sure you guys remember Brandon, six weeks before his fights, he probably beat Wayne 180. And uh, right now he's very, very close to to fight weight, so that's one thing that's going to make a big difference too. No one can speak. What are some of the bigger challenges he presents to Brandon in the ring? You know, it's uh, the whole boxing world has seen Danny Garcia throughout his career. You know, like I said, I'm one of them. I've always been a fan of his fights. He always brings out great fights, and he has a tremendous left hook. You know, great power. He uh, he could box. He could punch. So. It's a, it's a very it's a it's a challenge for for the team to prepare Brandon and uh, it's a challenge for Brandon to listen and do what what he needs to do to be able to pull this up. But you know the whole the whole training camp the whole the whole team we all feel very positive that uh, that we're gonna go out and pull pull, pull it up. Um, Mike Coppinger in magazine. Question for Brandon. You said earlier that you kind of thought that some of your losses were due to your own actions rather than someone else. Uh, what are you referring to in particular? That, you to, that you're doing better now? Because uh, the way I took the training, the way I would come in and wait, I would lose the last fucking 15, 20 pounds week of the fight. So it was my fault, you know what I mean? I was just, I was young and dumb. That's all I could say. And that's why I, everything I do, I would blame it on myself. I never took a blame on nobody else. You know what I mean? It's my fault. What do you weigh now? Huh? One, 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 one hundred ninety-five. <laughs> nah, How about with your clothes off? Huh? With my clothes off? What do you weigh? With huh? my clothes off? You want to take off my clothes? <laughs> what do you weigh is the question. <laughs> no, what I weigh, I weigh, I'm pretty good now. I weigh 157, so I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I knew you were the dirty ass. I figured you had probably 50 pounds. I knew you were the dirty. Just exactly what I want to see.